Hello, hello, good morning. It's Sunday, the, what is it? The 20th of April, no, April, I want to call it that. October, ah, still a bit tired. Only at eight o'clock in the morning, but Sunday, people rest, right? No, 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 no. The most important thing every day to live a healthy lifestyle is basically to move, 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 move. So the first thing I do when I get up, even if I'm tired, it took a while, couldn't sleep well last night. It took me maybe until one o'clock or 1.30 to fall asleep for some reason. So that was a bit difficult getting up this morning, but then, then again, here I am up and out in nature, you see? in beautiful Siem Reap along the, the riverside. I'm not the only one. Some people out walking their, their doggies and so on. Yes, but it's very, very quiet as you can see. So again, back to the point. The point of the video is to express, and you know, sorry, forgive it for being a bit shaky because I don't have my I stick with me, just walk in and I've decided to make this random video to remind people why. You know, the keto carnivore diet, which I've been on for almost 10 years, is, is wonderful and, and it just it keeps you well, healthy, fit, strong and, and, and immune to pretty much everything, except your head, your head, meaning your mindset. Now, to keep your mindset strong, you can't do that with food. It helps, but the way, the way to keep your mindset on top of things and not to be bogged down, not to be driven into negativity, uh, not to be get depressed and so on by other people and actions and situations, things that happen, you know, setbacks happen, surprises happen that can uh, just unhinge you a little bit. Go walk. Walk first thing in the morning, Walk, in the, walk at lunchtime or after lunch. I mean, I don't eat until after lunch. And then walk anyway, and then walk again in the evening, you know, 10, 15,000 steps a day. And I keep preaching that. 10 to 15,000 steps a day will keep the doctor away. And that's the key. On top of that, move your body even more. Swim. I swim almost every day. Sometimes distance, sometimes sprinting. Sprinting is another great one. It was sprint. Again, because I have a, a metal titan, titan, titanium knee because of my skiing accident back in the, in the 90s, I choose to sprint in the pool because of the, the fact that there's no uh, pressure on my, my knee and so on. I can't run sprint because that would hurt the knee badly. It could be very, very dangerous. So sprinting once or twice a week, not three or four times a week that I've read on Twitter by some Idiot, idiotic doctor to sprint three times a week. No, because sprinting drives up your heart rate to the maximum and releases tons of cortisol. So you do not want to sprint too often. You want to do it once, maximum twice a week. Otherwise do tons of cardio like walking and swimming, as I said, biking, strength training, using your body as your gym is the best way by far. Push-ups, planks, lunges, squats, headstands, pull-ups, handstands. That's what I do. And you do not need a gym. You know, all these idiots, I have to say, idiots, people like Dan Go and so on, go to the gym, go to the gym. If you want to be a real man, you've got to go to the gym every day. Man, hey, you got to go to the gym every day. It's the biggest load of bullshit ever. Just move. Move and use your body as a gym. That's why you've got it. Our, our primal ancestors, did they have gyms? No. But they were fit, strong, because they had to go for days hunting animals and haul them back. You know, and climb up fucking trees and rocks and whatnot. And that's body weight exercise. Okay, so remember that. You don't need a gym. Gyms are really not healthy places. They are dirty, they're dingy, they're full of bacteria. And those weights, those, those, those machines are not aligned with our body movements. You know, free weights are okay, but from time to time, I'll use them if they're around, but I'm certainly not going to pay 50 or 60 bucks to be, be, go to a gym. I'm certainly not going to go every day. Most of the time, most men go to the gym. 
so they can look at booty. They can look at women. And that's not for me, because I just want to get on with shit, you know? And the other thing is, remember, when you're doing the strength training, using your body weight, calisthenics, keep it, keep it short. You could, you could do one set, you can do two sets, you can do three. I do it during the walks usually, not today, this morning, because it's still early, but I'll do it later, maybe. Maybe not. I do it, I do it when I feel like it. There is no plan. There doesn't need to be a plan. You just gotta make sure that you do the movement throughout the week. Alright? That's it. Trust me, I know. I've been doing this for yonks. Being a former Olympic athlete too. I know more about sports than anyone else talking about this shit on on social media. Any doctor, any nutritionist, they haven't been an Olympian, they haven't been they didn't train from the age of seven to 20, like crazies when I broke, bust my leg. You know, I went through hell with all of that shit, and I know. Then I got sick, had a stroke at age 45, being 30 kilos overweight, studied nutrition, lost all the weight, and I've been fit as a fiddle since, and I know better than any one of those medical doctors claiming to be nutritionists, because they usually are not. All good, have a great Sunday, bye-bye.